Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. So in this video we are going to be reviewing the two-part documentary series I Love You Now Die. Now this is a real life story that was very highly publicised a couple of years ago in the news and it recounts the events that happened whereby Michelle Carter encouraged her boyfriend Conrad Roy to commit suicide. Now in this two episode documentary series, by the way it is two episodes, a lot of people think that it's just a one episode documentary series but if you are going to watch it make sure that you watch both episodes. Basically the way that they filmed it and the way that they tell the narrative of the events means that you do kind of hear both sides, both sides being whether or not Michelle did encourage her boyfriend Conrad to commit suicide or whether she did not. So it kind of allows the audience to kind of make up their mind. It is a slight skew in terms of how they've kind of told that narrative but either way it does kind of allow the audience to make up their own mind but it's just really chilling and disturbing first because of kind of the events that unravel and that what kind of happens in this documentary series but also because it's kind of a real life thing that happened it's just yeah it just kind of pulls the chore down your spine so it is very heavy viewing if you are going to decide to watch it yeah it is very interesting and kind of very gripping for very different reasons than you know a movie or a tv show generally are but i will break down kind of my thoughts on all the different aspects that we typically cover on this channel in this two-part documentary series review. So like I just said, the story, so to speak, of this two-part documentary series retells the narrative about whether or not Michelle Carter encouraged her boyfriend Conrad Roy to commit suicide or not. And it's really interesting in that these two individuals predominantly had a relationship that was just all over text. I believe they met on five occasions but otherwise they have a very text heavy romance slash relationship and the documentary series kind of questions whether or not you can encourage someone to commit suicide through text by not actually kind of being there and kind of the power that the mobile phone and text messages kind of have on us as a society in present day so it's kind of really interesting kind of from that storytelling narrative point of view but obviously it's kind of more than that in this documentary series because it is a long two-part series and it really delves deep into the mental state of both of these kind of individuals, both Michelle and Conrad, kind of explores potential motivations that Michelle might have had to kind of do the things that she did and say the things that she did through text to Conrad. So it's a very multi-layered story from that point of view and it's just like I said before as well it's just very chilling because you kind of know that it was based in a real life event that kind of happened and obviously it was one that kind of got the whole world so to speak talking and yeah it's just a really interesting story narrative made even more heightened because of the fact that it's actually a real life event. So the characters of this two-part documentary series are obviously Michelle Carter and Conrad Ray. And because it's a long documentary series, like I said before, it does kind of give you the opportunity as a viewer and audience member to kind of really unravel the mindset, the motivations and the past experiences that these two individuals kind of go through. And in a little similar vein to the recent Joker film that got released a few weeks ago, it really does kind of explore kind of mental health and what impact other people's kind of behaviour and kind of experiences kind of have onto different individuals. Obviously I'm not defending anyone's actions or behaviour or anything like that but I just find it really interesting kind of how this documentary series explores experiences that individuals can kind of go through on top of the fact that the relationship is predominantly over text. So it's just a really interesting kind of situation. In terms of other characters that you see in this documentary series, you see all of Conrad Roy's family in different kind of interview segments. Michelle's family choose not to take part in the documentary series, however you do see them in the courtroom footage and you do hear from Michelle's friends. So kind of from that point of view, they do have a balanced kind of perspective of the two different central characters. From a visuals point of view, this documentary series is put together really, really well. It's obviously not a mega blockbuster film like Avengers Endgame or anything kind of Hollywood spectacular like that. It is a documentary series, but it's kind of put together really, really well. So you have 
the courtroom scenes, you then have interviews with different kind of characters such as Conrad Roy's family, with doctors, with lawyers, with different friend members. The interview style is very similar to kind of some reality TV shows like Keeping Up With The Kardashians and The Hills New Beginnings, that kind of interview style spliced together with different parts of courtroom scenes. We then have old footage of Conrad Roy and Michelle in terms of videos and in terms of pictures. And then we also have the actual text message exchange that was done between Michelle and Conrad Roy. And this kind of all together just allows for a bit of a narrative to kind of be portrayed through the story of Conrad Roy and Michelle Carter. In terms of comparisons, I Love You Now Die is kind of a unique documentary series. I guess if I was to compare it to anything, it would be similar to Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile, which starred Zac Efron and was the courtroom documentary series based on the Ted Bundy murders. I will link that review video in the description box below. But yeah, like I said, from a comparison point of view, I Love You Now Die is kind of a unique documentary series. Overall, like I said, this is a very gripping, chilling and disturbing documentary series based upon the fact that it was a real life event. And I really feel like they do a great job in terms of showing the fatal consequences of mobile phones and kind of what having a text heavy relationship can kind of potentially lead to. And I feel like there are really important lessons that parents in particular can really take from this in terms of having conversations with their kids and in terms of kind of maybe putting bans on social media and mobile phone use and yeah just overall just having real importance on kind of the new society that we all live in and kind of the lessons that we can all kind of take from this. Court documentary series aren't my personal favourite movies or kind of TV show style things to watch however I felt like I really did want to watch I Love You Now Die firstly because of the fact that it was a very highly publicised story and I just felt like I'd heard a lot of things about the execution that I really kind of wanted to watch it. Like I said, it's not my personal favourite genre, but it is still one that I would advise watching purely because it's really gripping and to watch it with the caveat to know that it's a very heart-wrenching and kind of heavy-hitting documentary series. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give I Love You Now Die a 5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.